Hi guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Jasmine Tyler and I'm a college student who loves living a healthy and balanced lifestyle. And in today's video, you already saw the title, we're gonna be tracking all the calories I ate this week. I'm currently at a great place with my relationship with food, so I thought it'd be a fun experiment. I wanna show you guys that there's more to life than calories and on some days I ate upwards of 3000 calories. The first half of this video is gonna be of me at UC Berkeley and showing you everything I ate and how I worked out. And then the second half of this video is me going home to Los Cabos, Mexico. It's gonna be so fun, and as always, this video is gonna be full of lots of healthy and nourishing and super easy recipes. Make sure to subscribe because I post videos every Sunday, and go grab a snack and enjoy the video. Before I start the video, I'm gonna give a couple disclaimers. Obviously, this video talks about calories. If that makes you uncomfortable, feel free to skip this video. No hard feelings. This video is sponsored by Seed, and I'm gonna talk more about them later on, but it's great because it's a symbiotic, which is basically a pro and a prebiotic that helps support your gut health. It supports healthy heart functions, your skin, so yeah, it's amazing, but you know what? I'll talk about it later. Let's get on with the video. We're starting this video off on a good note. This is the night before I started tracking calories and I meal prepped a big batch of my signature brownie granola, but I've actually been experimenting with adding superfoods and protein to it because I'm in the process of creating my own packaged food brand and the granola is gonna be my first product. So I'll share more information later. But then at 11 p.m. at night, I got the worst nosebleed of my life. So I had to go to the ER and I didn't get back to my house until 3 a.m. So I forgot to film breakfast because the next day I was just like in a daze but I basically had a granola bowl with yogurt and berries and lots of nut butter which was approximately 620 calories then after that I just kind of laid around in bed all day feeling sorry for myself because I had to go to the ER yesterday but then I finally got out of bed and I decided to walk to my local sweet green to get my favorite salad which has mushrooms and sweet potato and chicken and carrots it's so good I doubled up on the dressing and this salad was approximately 650 calories calories and it was definitely what I needed after a long night of not really getting much sleep and then for dinner I was finally feeling better so I did a little dance in the kitchen you know trying to stop feeling sorry for myself so I just heated up some leftovers which included cauliflower that I roasted with turmeric some meatballs that were stuffed with halloumi cheese and some green beans and I served that with pasta and lots of parmesan I ended up having two bowls for a total of 900 calories and this was a really good day of eating that totaled 2170 calories I feel like normally I would have eaten a little bit more calories because I didn't snack today just because I was feeling off from the whole hospital night thing. But now we're on to day two. I didn't really feel like cooking again, so I just had two big bowls of berries and these French squirrels, which are kind of like cookie dough protein bites and they're so good. Each of the French squirrels totals at 150 calories and I ate two of them plus the berries for a total of 480 calories for breakfast. For today's pre-workout snack, I dipped some apple slices in a mixture of blended peanut butter and dates, which is kind of like a caramel sauce. It is so good and so easy to make and then I started motivating myself to go swimming because my body felt like it needed a little bit of movement after just kind of lazing in bed for a couple days. Today was so freaking cold and I had to motivate myself to jump into the super cold water because I grew up in Cabo and Berkeley can be really city-like and cold for me so really getting outdoors and just kind of getting some sun on my skin while I swim has been such a lifesaver but like I said we're gonna be going to Mexico soon so I only have a couple days in Berkeley left. For today's lunch I was craving a very warm bowl of vegetables and sausage and I roasted some sweet potatoes too which are so freaking good. Japanese sweet potatoes are so much better than regular orange sweet potatoes because they're slightly starchier and sweeter. They're just so amazing and so many of my favorite Korean vloggers always make Japanese sweet potatoes like this so I love them. I topped this bowl with a drizzle of olive oil and avocado because we love our healthy fats here on my channel and since I cook with so much oil this plate totaled at 835 calories. Lots of good energy, lots of nourishing fats, and carbs and protein, super balanced. And then before dinner, I snacked on two slices of bread that I bought at a local bakery and I added some butter to it as well. Seriously, bread and butter is such an amazing combination, so underrated. And for tonight's dinner, I made one of my favorite vegetable dishes ever, which is roasted maple balsamic Brussels sprouts. All I do is massage Brussels sprouts with olive oil, vinegar, maple syrup, and sea salt, and then I bake them until they're nice and crispy, which takes about 45 minutes at 420 degrees. While the Brussels sprouts were baking, I pan fried some some salmon with some coconut aminos until it was nice and golden brown and that was my dinner pretty simple and delicious and again I cook with a lot of olive oil at least two to three tablespoons per meal and this put the total calories at 870 and up until six months ago I was honestly pretty scared to cook with more than a tablespoon of olive oil per meal just because I felt like it would cause me to gain lots of weight and yeah I don't know it's just diet culture mentality at its finest but dealing with back injuries meant that I've had to include lots of healthy fats in my diet and I've never felt better and 
I feel like all these oils have really helped my skin and my hair feel so much better. On day three, I started my day with some scrambled eggs and grass-fed butter, which is another great source of healthy fats. And I served that with half an avocado sprinkled with everything but the bagel seasoning from Trader Joe's, which is so good. And this meal was 520 calories. For lunch, I heated up some of these red pepper chicken sausages and I served it with my favorite salad combination as of late, which has feta cheese, the chicken sausage, and some apples, which is so good. And I also had a bowl of brown rice on the side. The total calories of this meal was 880 calories. And then I snacked on two big bowls of fruit. I also forgot to film the chocolate bar that I inhaled, but the total calories of this snack was 420. As I ate the berries and later the chocolate, I watched a Studio Ghibli movie, which has lately been my obsession. I feel like I never really watched anime before, but it's just so cozy and comforting and I love the vibes of it. For dinner, I had to film a brand partnership for these Greek style zucchini boats that had feta and ground beef and olives and they were so good. I ate two big plates of this meal for a total of 1200 calories for one meal. You know, food is fuel. I was feeling hungry and I always listen to my body. That put the total calories of this entire day at 3,020. Even just last year, I would have been terrified to know that I was eating over 3,000 calories in one day, but your energy needs on any given day are so different and eating less calories doesn't equate to health. If anything, on some days, if your body's asking for more calories, it just means that you've been more active. So you need to replenish your muscles and there's no way that you can get stronger and keep living an active lifestyle if you don't fuel yourself properly. That means not being afraid of carbs, not being afraid of healthy fats, and just listening to your body's hunger cues. After my swimming workout, I made a delicious salad that was 650 calories and it had sweet potatoes and chicken apple sausage. And my friend Carly, who was actually my first friend ever, I met her when I was like six months old, she came over and we watched another Studio Ghibli movie. This was my first time watching Howl's Moving Castle and it was so fun. And after lunch, we headed to Lush, which is basically like a natural homemade cosmetic store and you can get bath bombs and face masks. And it was so much fun to shop around and just smell everything because everything's so aesthetic. Then we went back to my apartment and we did some beautiful blue face masks. Oh my goodness, it is so blue. <laughs> it's like cement. For dinner, I made some roasted purple cauliflower. And after the cauliflower finished roasting, I added some leftover ground beef and some feta. And I broiled that for about 10 minutes until it was nice and crispy. And this was such a delicious meal. I ate this entire pan, which was a thousand calories. And this was actually my last day in Berkeley. I can't believe that this is my last day in Berkeley before going home for almost two weeks. My mom's already texting me and asking me what we're gonna have for dinner each night. In my family, food is our love language. So I'm so excited to start cooking more at home. I'll see you guys tomorrow. So I'm actually in Los Cabos right now, so we're doing a quick little fast forward because I'm gonna talk about the sponsor of today's video, which is Seed. And I think Seed is genuinely one of the coolest partnerships that I've ever had the opportunity to do because the company's commitment to providing a genuinely amazing product is so noticeable. So this is Seed's DSO-1 Daily Symbiotic. This is the first product in a pipeline of clinically studied and next generation products. And what's really cool about Seed is that they sustainably deliver your capsules every month. It's basically a 24 strain broad spectrum prebiotic and probiotic formulated for digestive gut immune and other systemic benefits and what a symbiotic is is a combination of pre and probiotics and that really helps support your gut health but it's also a total body experience it promotes gut health it supports ease of bloating and smooth clear skin it also aids in healthy regularity because bathroom chips are important I'm gonna nerd out for a little bit because I want to explain what this is because I feel like people always throw around punchy words like gut health but like what really is a symbiotic basically each of seeds DSO-1 capsules contain a prebiotic outer capsule and a probiotic inner capsule. And that's basically a protective mechanism to protect this capsule from your digestive enzymes and your stomach acids. So it can be directly deposited in your colon. So that means you're going to reap so many amazing total body benefits. So like I said, it confers benefits to your gut health, to your skin, to your heart, to your digestive system. It's truly amazing. And all you have to do is take two capsules, preferably on an empty stomach every single day. They look like this, cute little green capsules. And when you order, it also comes with a little travel pack so it just like put enough capsules that you need for your trip and then just bring this on your trip. You can get 50% off your first month supply of Seed's DS01 Daily Symbiotic by using code JASMINE15 at checkout. Click the link in my description box to get started. Thank you again to Seed for sponsoring today's video and let's continue with the rest of it. Okay guys, it is now time to fly home to Los Cabos, Mexico for spring break. When I got to the airport, I bought a fresh crisp apple and I ate 
four of these French squirrels, which are the same protein cookie dough bars that I had at the beginning of the video. Each of the protein balls is 150 calories, so that was 600 calories total just for the protein bar, plus approximately 80 calories for the apple. And now I'm home, and here my mom is showing me how she's harvesting all her homegrown lettuces. Oh wait, I love the flowers too. Are those the edible flowers? These are the ones that are bulky. Smell this. It's glorious. Smell. Mmm. Does that smell good? <laughs> Lavender. Good enough for Papa. He said he doesn't want a salad, but I'm gonna force him. Hey, look at all the romeros we have. Just one second. I'm natural. I am natural, bro. I'm an action. I don't even want to get it up. I do it like this. Oh, yeah. Wow, wow, wow. Wow. That's a nice piece. Mm hmm. It doesn't taste like the yummy mixed greens. My first delicious meal back home included salad with the lettuces my mom grew, as well as chipawasu, which is a corn and cheese casserole from Paraguay. I also had some of that delicious steak, which put this meal at a total of 870 calories. After that meal, it was time to work out, and I warned you guys that whenever I'm in Cabo, I literally wear a bikini 24-7. So here, I did a workout in my backyard using resistance bands and more like Pilates-based movements, which make me feel really good, especially because my back has been acting up again. I have a couple herniated discs, but you know what? But staying active every day and stretching and foam rolling really helps. Now it's time to make my brother a smoothie featuring our horrible singing. So skip ahead like 20 seconds if you don't want to have your ears like cut off. Settle down that you heard that your dreams came true. Oh wait, wanted milk. Why are you so sad? Oh my god. <laughs> hey girl. For my first dinner back home, I decided to make a big tray of roasted vegetables and I massaged the zucchinis with some paprika and lots of olive oil. And then for the mushrooms, I baked them with balsamic vinegar, which makes them so caramelized and sweet and it's so delicious. The total calories in this meal was 650 because I had two big plates, which puts the total calories of this day at 2,240. The next day, I was craving some eggs for breakfast, but not just any boring old eggs. The trick is to add some cheese and then flip that over. So then as the eggs cook, the cheese melts and becomes kind of like a golden crust. It is so good, and I served that over two pieces of buttered toast. The total calories for this meal was 620, and then I went to go check out our local swimming pool. It was so fun to swim in Mexico for a change because the water was warm and the sun was a little bit too hot. I think I kind of burned myself, but it was a really fun workout, and swimming has been making me feel so strong and amazing. When I got home, I was starving, so I made another of my favorite salads, which is this crunchy tuna salad, and I've never really put hummus into salads, but it kind of acts as a creamy dressing in addition to the regular balsamic vinegar and olive oil and it's so good. I also added olives and chopped apples and corn and avocado and I think this salad is my new official obsession because since filming this video I've eaten it five days in a row. Not even joking. It's so good. The total calories for this salad was 780 because I love my bigger portions and then I decided to make a cookie in celebration of St. Patrick's Day. This has almond flour, almond butter, coconut oil, maple syrup, a lot of chocolate chips, and some green powder. The calories of this recipe will depend on how much oil and how much chocolate chips you use, but I estimated it at 550 calories. I hadn't made a single serving cookie recipe in a while, and this was so good. You honestly couldn't really taste the green powder, and it just made me feel really good because, you know, St. Patrick's Day, you gotta eat some green stuff. For dinner, my mom made this delicious creamy and spicy lentil soup with a couple chilies like chipotle, and she also added coconut milk and squash, and the total calories for this meal was 450, for a total of 2,620 calories for this day. We're on to the 
last day now and I woke up craving avocado toast, which I haven't had in a while, but we only had one egg and one slice of toast left, which I was so sad about. So I did what I could and added lots of olive oil to make up for the fact that I was only having one egg. And this put the total calories of the meal at 520. <laughs> I was hungry literally an hour later, so I made myself a protein smoothie. This smoothie was 360 calories and it had protein powder and almond butter and a couple types of berries and it was very delicious. And for lunch, I was so excited because I hadn't had this meal in a while. It's from a takeout place called Chicken Do. This place specializes in do-it-yourself wraps, so they give you a bunch of romaine lettuce and a bunch of roasted chicken and roasted vegetables and you basically kind of assemble your own lettuce tacos. I have my evening hat on, dude. I'm not looking aesthetic. Mm. Oh, mm, boy. The piña. This is literally, I always think of this like peak meal. Wow. Mm. God. The total calories for this meal was 800 and then we went to the beach. My back still isn't feeling too great so I didn't surf but my brother got a couple great waves. All I did was read and tan and just enjoy the sounds of the waves and I also went on a quick 15 minute walk just to get my body moving a little bit and it was magical. Growing up surfing in Cabo was the best childhood ever and I am sad that I haven't been able to surf in a while due to my injured back but you know what? I'm just doing everything in my power right now to be as strong as I can and hopefully by the summer I'll be able to get back out there but if not it's okay and i know that these few months of being injured are teaching me something i don't know what the lesson is yet maybe it's to listen to my body or just appreciate the things i can do that don't involve surfing which has been such a big part of my identity for years but anyway then i got home and i snacked on half a bar of dark chocolate which was 220 calories and then we got ready to go out to my favorite restaurant ever which is flora farms so flora farms is a farm to table restaurant and i always have to come here whenever i'm in mexico and the drive there is absolutely gorgeous we took the top off off the Jeep. And basically the whole concept of the restaurant is that they grow all the food that they serve there, which is so cool. They even have a farm with like pigs and chickens and stuff. And of course my dad had to say hi to everyone because we're here so often. They started us off with this really interesting pea appetizer puree thing and it was pretty good. Check your TikTok. Mm, For more appetizers, we ordered this cannelloni, which was stuffed with butternut squash, as well as an arugula pizza that's topped with like a lemony arugula salad with parmesan, and it's so good. And as always, I enjoyed everything because life is about balance. Here's even more pasta, and for the main meal, we got a big plate of pork, which is local and organic and so cool. And they served it with some sides of roasted vegetables and the best mashed potato puree. It was so creamy and cheesy, and I laughed so hard at this video because I told my family to pick things up and make it look aesthetic but it was a total fail and then of course we had to finish the night with a couple desserts my dad's favorite is the dark chocolate cake nice. okay who wants to cut into this it's the sauce oh my god the toffee. this here is a sticky toffee cake with ice cream and this is like a weird strawberry croissant buttery flaky something i don't even know what the name is but it was so good and i ate a lot of things <laughs> <laughs> i estimated the calories of this entire meal to be around 1200 calories so that means the total calories for this day was three 3,100. Today was definitely a day full of lots of delicious and nourishing food. I hope you guys enjoyed spending this week with me both at UC Berkeley and in Los Cabos, Mexico. I know I had the best time and I feel like this experiment was really good just for me to realize that as always there's more to life than calories. Some of these days I ate over 3,000 calories and that doesn't change who I am, my self-worth, doesn't change whether I'm healthy or not, you know, it just means that some days I'm hungrier. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check out Seed. Use my code Jasmine15 for 15% off your first month and free shipping seed is so amazing for boosting your gut health since taking it every day i've definitely noticed some changes in my skin and my digestion i just feel amazing so click the link in my description box to get your hands on seed and yeah i'll see you guys next sunday love you